Okay, okay, okay. Every once in a while, something comes along that just... A recent release of Adobe Creative Cloud uh, Premiere Pro. They put in a bunch of rulers and a way to manage your files. And there's also round tripping that we've had recently to go over to After Effects. The game changer was in After Effects when they added content aware function across video. If you're familiar with this in Photoshop, you'll know what that is. I just got to show you this. It's it just blows my mind. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I have this clip here. It's just some lady. This is Adobe Stock. I wanted to try out what they showed me first on their tutorial when I saw the release. And basically what they're doing is they have this lady coming up to this bush, uh, excuse me, up to this stock, and they want to remove her. Now I want you to notice some things in here. See the little highlights on the lens and all this stuff going on here. Okay, we're going to take her out. The cool thing, this already exists in Premiere, is I can simply right click and I can say replace with After Effects composition. Let's do that and go over to After Effects. Okay, here we are in After Effects. We have this lady. Remember, she's moving up there. Cool. It's just a Adobe stock. And we're going to go along and maybe right about there. We want to remove her out of this scene, so I'm going to uh, just chop this thing down. I don't want to go through the whole thing. It'll take a little too long for this video. So now I'm going to go up and I'm just going to grab a mask, just an elliptical mask, um, draw it around her. There she is. That's what we want to replace, and you'll see up in the right hand window. I'm going to drop down here and change this to none because I want to see where I'm going to. I select M to see the mask. I set on a keyframe and I go down to the M and I drag the mask up to the lady. Now we're going to modify it and just pull this down. We want to encompass her up front here. Just move that a little over. Uh, maybe a little more. Make sure we get her feet. We're pretty good there. And of course, it's keyframed. So let's move it forward and see what happens. Okay, I can see right there, I'm not getting her basket. So let's move the mask, maybe adjust it a little bit so we get the basket. Let's see what we got. Okay, the mask is following her now, all the way to the end. Perfect, that looks good. Now we want to set this to subtract. It'll start as add subtract. That's the thing we want to take out. Now, as we go down, you'll see the what we're subtracting is following fine. Up here, you have different options. I won't go over right now. Um, basically, you want to set to object, the mask area, and then when you're ready, hit generate fill layer. Now it goes through and it's going to analyze what's happening throughout these frames that I've set up in the mask. It's going to generate those. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch through the analyzation. Is that really a word? Um, let's speed through this, and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, it's done analyzing. Now, it's rendering the frames. It's basically rendering PNGs for every image in here. You could already see on the first frame it removed her. Again, I'm not going to sit here and have you wait for rendering. Uh, let's speed through this real quick. Okay, the rendering's done. Um, it's created all our frames. Let's check this thing out. Look at that. Mask is moving. There's no way, if you're watching this, that you're going to say, hey, there used to be a lady there, and uh, we took it out. Just gorgeous. Okay, I wasn't sure if Adobe had secretly put certain encoding and secret codes into their video to make sure this works. That was a joke. So I went off and grabbed my own stock footage. Um, this cat here, there's a cute little puppy in this cat that looks kind of snarky. What if I remove him out of here 
there's grass here, there's grass here, there's stuff going on here. What if I take a short clip and remove him out of here and see what we got? Again, let's go over, replace that from Premiere Pro with the After Effects composition. Now there's the dog, there's the cat, I wanna remove him. Let's just use the pen tool instead of using an elliptical mask. Let's try the pen tool and see if it can handle it. I just poke my little dots around Mr. Cat. Well, he does look either tired or snarky. I don't know what's going on. And there we go. Let's make sure that we M to see the mask, set a keyframe at the beginning. Let's move down to the end. Now, I'm just gonna move the mask. I know I need to keep him in frame. So I'm just gonna pull his stuff down here, a little bit down there, move down there, that one, move this in by his ear, pull that one down. I wanna pull this one down. Yeah, there we go, let's check it out. Yep, cat's in the frame, we're all good to go. Let's set our that back to subtract, because remember, you just need to remember, that's what we're removing. Set it to subtract, it looks good. Okay, we go up, generate fill layer, and off it goes. It goes through and starts analyzing what we're doing. And we'll just zip through this thing. Now I've just zipped through here. Now we're rendering. Um, it's actually going quite fast. Uh, you can already see the cat's gone in the frame. Here we go. Okay, we're done. Let's take a look at this. That is absolutely, astoundingly amazing. There's, wow. I mean, the cat's gone. There's there's no way you'd look at this and would say, hey, there used to be a cat there and they, uh, you know, did something funny with this. No freaking way. Look at that. Put a little weed in there and a flower. Added some of the shadows from the other thing. That's just, that's crazy stuff. Look at that. I, I, again, I'm speechless. That's how you do that. And wow, you should play with it yourself. It's amazing. I threw this together. Just look at that. Gone. Lady gone. Cat. Boom. Gone. There is no way watching this. Someone would be able to go, oh, you know what? You probably removed the lady. That is crazy insane. I've sat here and just watched this thing over and over and Pixel peeped on and played with it. Depending on what you're doing, there might be some little tiny artifacts. It depends on the shot. It depends on how you mask it. Most of them can be fixed. This just freaking amaze me. Bye bye lady. And there's our stock. Hey look, there's a dog and a cat. Bye bye cat. Amazing. This is beyond useful for people. You have boom poles in your shot. You wanna remove a car. You have things in your shot that you wanna get rid of. You just simply run it through that method and they're, for all practical purposes, gone. It's amazing to me. Here's another cool thing in case you're like, oh, wine, wine, wine. I got this, I installed it, I didn't run into any bugs, no crashes, and I did all that on a five-year-old laptop. So I don't usually suggest to people a certain editing program over another editing program. You should use this or you should use that. You should go check it out. I put some links in the description below. I'm headed out to NAB to do some cool stuff and meet up with Adobe and just salute them for awesomeness. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. It may have been too over the top for some people that I was really excited, so I'm gonna do something for the other guys that aren't. Recently in Adobe, they offered a new feature in After Effects called Content Aware. You may be very excited about this. Here's one for the rest of the other people. Holy sh! You should get Adobe! It's like BAM! 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 Ah!